What's up guys, Footy Manager TV here. This is episode 2 of my Arsenal Let's Play. And right here, here's my early season results. Very happy with the way I started. If I didn't go too much into the tactic in the previous video, in the opening video of this series, um, I'll go into it a bit now as it loads there. 4-3-3, it's fluid eventually, so we're playing very good. And oh, really, it's 4-3-3, it's, it's based on attacking play. Uh, like where the board wants us to in the confidence uh, by the t uh, board promises. As you can see here, uh, give youth a chance. See, we're doing that with some young players. Attacking football. I don't know why they're disappointed, um, but they're content with possession football. I don't know what's the difference between po uh, possession and attacking. To me, that's basically the same. Uh, I guess we're not playing too attacking. Uh, but isn't that, uh, I don't know, leave your suggestions. Would you rather play attacking and concede more goals and maybe not get, uh, lose more matches and but doing what the board wants or play a bit more defensive and get results? Uh, leave your opinions on that. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, I just want to get results and I'm pretty sure if I do well in the league, like I am, the board will be happy with that regardless if I'm d uh, doing the board promises or not. But I am giving youth a chance at playing possession football. So that's really two out of three. So I'm happy with that. But it is meant to be attacking formation, which I have done. Like getting 59% uh, possession in a lot of matches like are in the high 50s. And as you can see here, we are actually fourth in the league. But Chelsea and Newcastle has a game in hand. So they can still over overtake us. So um, I just want to show you the full table. Uh, go to league table for that. As you can see, very happy. We scored 12 and conceded 4. I don't know. Looking at that, do you think that's attacking? It's a, I've scored the second or at least equal second most. So... I, I think that's pretty attacking, scoring at least two goals every match. Um, but yeah, um, that's, I guess, the board. Because looking at my tactic, it's not really attacking, especially if you go into the uh, go into fixtures. I want to show you some games, that example. Dynamo Kiev, we didn't even score the goals till late. Uh, here came 0-0 with Everton. Udinese only won 1-0. But that's the thing, I want to be responsible. Like when you're playing a European game, uh, whether it be a re really hard team or not, when you're playing away, it's always hard. So I did play a bit more defensive when I got that goal. But yeah, what can you... Um, I don't know. Yeah, like I said before, uh, leave your suggestions. Would you rather get results uh, or not maybe lose a couple matches? Um, but you're still going with the way the board goes. Because if I played a bit more attacking, uh, what I really changed, uh, I suppose Arsenal in real life, they'll probably play with attack. I would play with attacking midfielder, and then you have two center mids, and that's probably how they play in real life. But that's for me. We'll uh, leave your suggestions. How much uh, I would think uh, we will concede heaps more goals if we played like that than this really m more balanced formation. And I really think this is the better way to go, in my opinion. Because look at defenders' attributes. Look how good, uh, not attributes, the average rating. Especially Koscielny, Vermaelen. Their partnership is doing fantastic. Uh, Mertesacker, I'm actually teaching uh, Vermaelen to play defensive mid as we need a bit more uh, really good defensive mids. And I think he can do well. Because if you look at his attributes, um, while he loads right here, as you can see, anticipation 16. He's a pretty good passer. Good tackling, heading. He'll be perfect in defensive midfielder. But obviously, he's a good center back. Uh, but then we can get Murdersaka and Koscielny to partner together. But Vermaelen and Koscielny is doing well. And uh, Arteta as defensive mid or our new player we have, Dennis Garmash. They're doing pretty well. But anyway, uh, that's really enough on the team. Also, I just want to show you the improvements of one, our, uh, one of our younger signings, Alvaro Vadio. He's improving fantastically, as you can see here. Um, he's being cur he's currently learning from an experienced player. That's Santi Cazorla. He's learning from him. Hopefully, he can just uh, become... Obviously, they're kind of a bit different player. Um, Cazorla's more of like an attacking midfielder. Vidio is more of a winger. But if he can get some of Cazorla's... Learn some tips of him. Uh, Vidio can be a really good player for us in the future. One thing I like about him, he's got 18 flair. And as you can see, he's hitting the, hitting the track right here. He's doing well, improving straight away. He just came to the team right now. Going to slowly give him some matches, maybe in matches where we're winning by a couple goals. Uh, so we can just gen uh, generally, yeah, ge generally improve. So anyway, I just want to move on to some of the results. I won't show all of them, just the most key ones, I think, uh, were good results. As you saw, like Everton, 0-0, West Brom, 1-1. Not really too much goals and not, uh, not really good performances. Also on Podolski, he scored some goals, but also he's missed penalties, gotten red cards for diving. In one of the matches, had a yellow card already, but still decided to dive. Anyway, like I said, I won't be showing all the matches, just some, because I really want to get through this quick and, and play it, because I really want to play a lot, which I'm really focused on doing. Anyway, they actually scored the first goal in this match, 
as you know, the start of the season, it's pretty hard. That's what I don't like about Football Manager. It is kind of the, f the first month or so while your tactic is becoming fluid, it's kind of hard to get results, uh, especially with your when you're with a lower team. So I was pretty lucky, uh, as you'll be able to see what happens here. Mertesaka, very poor pass there. That's one of the things that happens. And they counterattack uh, Chesney. He actually had a fantastic game. He got man of the match. Uh, really, if it wasn't for him, we might have gone down maybe two, three goals, maybe even four at half time. But he kept us in the match, thankfully. As you can see here, I went a bit more attacking uh, to get the goal. Oxley chamberlain played the ball for Podolski, scored on his debut. Very fantastic, um, as you can see there. I was very happy to get that. Of both players that I want to do good, Oxley chamberlain Obviously, Podolski really needs someone to play, uh, replace Van Persie. And at this stage, to get within a, uh, the winner, I force the balls forward and run at defense. As you can see, Walcott, he's doing what I said to run at the, the, uh, the defense. And there he finds Arteta on the edge of the box. And he finishes in the 93rd minute to win the match for us. Uh, very happy with that result. Next up, game against uh, Reading. Uh, yeah, that's what I basically want to show. Basically, want to show. I want to show the matches where I dominate, score a lot of goals. If they're just boring matches, I don't really want to show it too much. And also, like I said, I don't want to make the videos too long. Around in between 10 and 15 minutes, since, uh, uh, it's about a good result. And yeah, like I said, I want to play a lot of the matches. I want to get through the seasons a lot. Like, uh, really, in a couple days, I can finish a season. So that means I, I, I'm going to try and upload every day. But anyway, as you can see, Walker here, he is a fantastic player. He's just so fast. you got to love his pace. And really, you, uh, he's going to suit that striker position per, uh, perfectly and rotate him on the right side or left side even. Garmash, very happy with him to score. Uh, assist by Cazola from the free kick, or from the corner, sorry. He's been very good coming into the team. Our new players to the team has surprisingly very good. For it, for whatever reason, on Football Manager, for me, when I get new players to the team, they don't start too good. Uh, but yeah, um, maybe this is just a different case, which I'm very happy with. And really, I'm so happy to get back with Arsenal games. Like I mentioned in the first episode, I've been playing with Arsenal since uh, 2008, FM 2008. So yeah, very close uh, with all their players. Like Kieran Gibbs, I started playing him when he was like 19, 18. And Football Manager 2008 came a very good player. So a very close affiliation with all these players. Oxley chamberlain very nice goal there from Walcott. And as you know, Walcott has been superstar uh, throughout the FM series with his pace. Anyway, Udinese, as you see, a couple games here, we didn't score too much. I suppose that's when the board didn't really think we were playing attacking football. But then, as you can see here, we started to score more, scoring three goals, I suppose, against Brighton. But I rested some players, as you can see. And Podolski with the red card made it harder, but he scored before he got the red um, in extra time. But then we have started to score more. Uh, but I'll show you the Dynamo Kiev in a second. Uh, but anyway, I want to show you the fuller match. Um, it was a very good match, the way it started at least. But you know, you know that uh, thing that comes in the middle of the like, right in the middle where it says like the players' confidence and stuff like that. It said they were complacent so, a bit in the second half, and that's when we started to concede. But I don't like it in the team talks. I don't like saying uh, to be complacent because. For whatever reason, it always does bad results. And I just like saying I'm pleased with their performance when I'm winning. But anyway, I'm going to show the results. Podolski, as you see, he missed the penalty, but got him on the follow-up there. Uh, pretty lucky to get that. Like I mentioned, he was getting red cards, getting uh, missing penalties. So he's been sort of a mixed player at the start of the season. But I'm sure he'll get better as he gets more confident. As you can see here, Kozola being fan uh, fantastic assisting. And here, almost picking up the ball there. But again, Ramsey scoring there. Uh, yeah, for Ramsey, I really like him as a player. He's got pretty good agility, I think it is. A good passer of the ball. Uh, very good in that center mid role. I think I play him as the deep, uh, deep lying playmaker. He's very good in that role. And here, this is where we're going to counter attack again. This is scoring the third goal, I think it is. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it'll be the third goal. Got the penalty, then Ramsey. Then Ramsey again, assisting for Kieran Gibbs, scoring a third goal. And this match will dominate. I don't know how the board can say we weren't attacking in this match, and even with conceding two goals. And this where it started with, uh, to go downhill, where I said with uh, our players started to get complacent. And here, Berbatov on the counter-attack. A very good interception by Kashani, but then he was a bit forward trying to intercept again. Then Mel uh, Mladen Petric scores there. He's a fantastic striker. Well, not fantastic. He's just really solid. And when he gets a chance, uh, a lot of the time he finishes. And this was with the kickoff. And they just went again. Brunt steals it. Uh, they signed him from West Brom. They needed another attacking player out wide. And here again, he assisted Duff. And here was actually poor uh, poor goalkeeping by Chesney. Uh, 
and really they shouldn't have been let they shouldn't have had no chance to come back and really I was really scared for the rest of the match because that goal was like the 66 minute and they had plenty of time to score an equalizer and maybe even a winner if they did that but then really we started to dominate uh, Southampton uh, I want to show these goals as well uh, so yeah I'm really happy with my results doing very well first in the league currently pressure is on for Chelsea to win to uh, take back that fo uh, first position in the league and yeah, usually when I beat Arsenal, at least in last year, I always just, I started in, at least in the first season, I was around that like third, fourth position. So I'm really happy with my start here. I always used to get lo uh, losses at the start of the season. And then I used to, it, it really took me to January to start winning uh, really regularly. So that's really good sign. So uh, who knows what may happen come the end of the season. So here, early in the match, this is the seventh minute. Giroud, I was very happy with him. Uh, very happy with this goal right here. Kazola again coming in with another assist. Walcott, he pops that up for Giroud. He's dominant in the air. I think he's like 192 centimeters. Very good in the air. And he did have a good last season for Montpellier in the French League. Scored 21 goals. Very impressive. So he, I think his attributes would have increased. Uh, he's finishing his 17. He's got like heading of 18. Uh, as like, a, uh, like I said, he's very tall as well. A uh, Walcott here going to play in the cross. Finds Kazola finishes he deserved the goal after all the really goals he's created so far in the season and yeah it's been another fantastic start two goals and here I think this is just uh before the break uh Gibbs making the interception uh he's been better than I thought he would be at left back and he uh, I was going to look to teach AU to play there uh, but Gibbs it looks like he's playing well there so I don't really I'm just going to give him a go and he is 22 so he can still improve a bit uh Wilshere coming back from injury he becomes fantastic in this game probably the best center mid in the game five years in and then Walcott um he played in the cross Giroud couldn't get on the end of it but look at that ball by Gibbs and Giroud in the air again he's so dangerous in the air on the ground as well like with the good finishing and he ha doesn't have bad pace for a tall player um, so yeah I'm very happy with that result especially with Gibbs doing well Giroud as well uh, the first couple games he didn't score uh, so I wasn't sure how he would do good so I did want to give him a game against a team we expected to win to see if he can score and he did so very happy with his performance in that match and especially Gibbs as well uh, he's really impressing me with his uh, scoring goals, getting assists, doing well defensively. And here's the latest match against uh, Dynamo Kiev. And here, this is basically, we're playing at home. And this is why I think the board thinks we were uh, playing too defensive. Um, so um, I wasn't winning until, uh, I'll explain it before. I wasn't winning, as you can see here, goals like by the 80th minute and in almost extra time there. I really focus on defense, and when I haven't scored a goal, but like after 70 minutes, I fo I tell my players to run at the players, especially when Walcott and Jovino is on the ground, because they're good dribbling, good pace. So I tell them to run at the the, uh, the defense, and also ask my team just to bomb the ball forward as well, get it forward. So you see evidence with it here, Gibbs with the throw in, Arteta, very good header there to intercept it, that's why I play him at defensive mid, and here, that's a pretty lucky goal. That really wasn't focused by good passing for us, just good really anticipation by Podolski, anticipated the really the playback to the goalkeeper but here this is really goals we should be scoring early in the match look at Walker look at the pace like I told him to run at the defense then he crosses it in right here finds Javinho I thought Wilshire was going to get it but then he just left it for Javinho trick the defenders maybe there I'm very happy to get that goal maybe a bit late I really would have would have liked to score that kind of goal early in the match but nonetheless we got the result so yeah, that, I'm very happy with this early start. But as you can see here, we've, we're having a bit of long shots. I don't mind because we've got some really good players to score from long shots. Uh, but here, we've had 15 shots, three clear, uh, clear cut chances. So we're starting to dominate possession now how I like and getting lots of shots. So everything is going well. And I'll just show you here. This was basically just after the Dynamo Kiev match. Uh, we got 1.32 million for winning that match. And also important to win those European matches. Because if you win, you get more money. Uh, exactly 60,000 people. Good crowd attendance there. Arsenal, as you know, got big crowds. Uh, big sp stadium capacity. As you can see, uh, Jovino, player of the match. Uh, he can play left wing or right wing. Doesn't really matter. I'm not sure if I could... I don't really like to play him as striker because he's only got six composure for those one-on-ones. I'd rather just play Giroud, Podolski, and Walcott, rot rotate him in there. But yeah, when Jovino, he actually scores more goals out wide than he does if I play him as a striker, which is a bit weird. But I guess he may, ha may have less uh, pressure, sorry, um, as he's the main striker, not the main striker. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it's a fantastic start here. 
Um, this is, uh, as you know, with my other careers, I haven't done too well. I got Wigan on FM Scout TV, not doing too well on that. But here, uh, that's why I want to be Arsenal. And really, I'm overachieving. You wouldn't uh, expect Arsenal to be top of the league right now. But we have got some hard matches, or at least Manchester United. The rest matches aren't too hard. As you can see, after the United match, uh, we've got QPR. Then we've got Malaga. They're probably the easiest team in our group. Uh, then, obviously, Man United again, but in the league, what Swansea, then Malaga again. Uh, we play them two times in a row in the Champions League. But then we've got Norwich, Liverpool at home, Udinese. We have, like, four home games in a row here, so that's very good to see. But then we've got Aston Villa, really should win there. Uh, Tottenham, but then we're starting to get some hard matches around here with Chelsea, Man City. And we've got a lot of away matches here. Then we play four away matches in a row. Uh, so hopefully I continue with his good form or I may get some injuries. And really, that's about FM. You can continue with the form or some injuries, but look at that. No injuries at the team. We have a full list to pick from. So everything is going my way for once. So yeah, uh, like I said, Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't yet. I'm going to be making daily videos of this series. So, yeah, keep subscribed. You'll be seeing a new video of this every day. So, yeah, like I said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And I'll see you guys next time.